Now let's get to the GUI. Haha, <laughs> some fun. So again, control click on the menu or just go into the edit screen. Uh, the thing is made in such a way. I mean, like you may be asking why you need to press control. That's because it's all made for normal people. So in the beginning, when you open Amazon Factory, the main screen is made so that it's as simple as possible. So if you clean, click uh, click a menu, there's almost nothing there. That's just to make it make it simple. But if you hold control, you can get to the nasty stuff. And this custom GUI designer. So this is this is it. You load some background. This the background I had. Ha! Yeah, I wanted to use nice. this for the for the creative part of the um, for the man background. And yeah, well, <laughs> it looks like a bull to me. I'm like it's it has. Specific feeling, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't like it anymore. And now the beautiful thing about it is that it will actually make the GUI on its own. So first, I need to specify the tab name. So uh, what I'm going to do is a custom GUI project. So I'm going to save it first. Just my beautiful instrument. Is it still in? Nah, it's not exactly the board. Never ye. <laughs> my blah, 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 blah. Ah, never mind. Okay. And there's one project for one tab. Usually, most uh, of the instruments just have custom GUI or like the graphical GUI for the main page only. But you can make uh, GUIs for all of them. I wouldn't do it for globals though. It looks the same for instruments and I think it should be like that. So I'm going to write generator here, save it, and create items from device. Uh, it will give me some yeah, not important stuff. So this actually created all the controls I have there. So what I need to do now is just turn this into something that you can watch. So I'm going to destroy controls I don't need. So why are they modulating right now? Uh, yeah, they, they are not really modulating. They are showing you themselves in different states. Ah, gotcha. They are animating just so you, can, so you can see how it actually looks. So first of all, to explain how this all works, this is like the creator where you can load the background and create automatically create all the controls and stuff. And from now on, I won't need it. Here, again, I won't really need it anymore. There's also some additional stuff. If you are like advanced, you can go there, but otherwise it's not important. But I need to select the output, which means my instrument. And that's it. Now I can hide it again. And here are fonts, so I will just choose some preset. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I can close it as well. I probably need the title of that. My beautiful instrument, yeah, I need the title. <laughs> the, the title is the most important thing. You would be surprised. Really, the title is like alpha and omega of the whole thing. Well, let's, was... let's not forget it then. Let's put it in there. Yeah, let's put it there. So, uh, yeah, if you want to make a control, just click any of any of these. So I made a control, and here's the set of controls I already have there. And uh, here you can see all the settings of that control. Usually, just put it somewhere. So it Is there like a bother. snap to grid function, people are wondering? Uh, it's all all snapped. If if you move, it's snapping. And the settings are here. It's snap eight eight pixels. But you can change it to anything. I usually keep just eight pixels because uh, it's a nice number which works with most knobs because uh, it's you know power of two and and stuff and all the sizes are in power of two. But you can actually make anything as big as you want. But I will do that. So my beautiful instrument, and I will just resize it, select the font. It's like Typo. Photoshop for VSTs, man. This is yep. insane. <laughs> it's, 
kind of crazy. Yeah, but I have done so many of these UIs that I just needed to improve. In the beginning, you should have seen it. It was it was horrible. So, and I will just go to see. Oh, yeah, that's the this one. That's is, the this one. is the perfect one. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's heartwarming, you know. And when I look at it, I I feel great. I do. I feel wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for choosing it. <laughs> okay, and now. I will just move things where they should be. Shift. Why is shift a selector? What the hell? Yeah, it should be a selector. But it doesn't understand it. Okay, we should probably use the banks mode anyways. I never actually tried this. I always use the banks mode because usually you do that. But so, yeah, let's just... Use so essentially what feature. you're doing right now is on the GUI, it only has two states where it should have four, right? Yeah, it doesn't recover it. From, you know, there are so many ways the GUI can be designed that <laughs> it, it, it's, it's really a mind twister. So there are so many settings which uh, somehow, you know, interconnect and uh, somehow influence each other. So sometimes it just doesn't work as it should. Uh, okay, so because what I what I did here with the steps is actually kind of like very like weird. I usually use selectors with this banks mode because you do something something complicated. But yeah, and now I should probably yeah okay. Good. So. This is it, and feedback goes to the sample. This goes to the sample. Everything goes to the sample. So, are there like preset dials you can choose from? Uh, preset uh, dials. What do you mean? Like graphics. Like right now, it's just kind of a floating blue line. Yeah. Uh, you go here, and for every control, there are presets, and this is usually what I use. I just jump. Uh, in different presets and let's just say I'm really happy with this one and they just click to all and it will copy itself to all including all the names but I want it like this and voila all knobs are like that and the same thing I can do for this this is blowing and my this mind is the... this is absolutely blowing my mind right now Ah, it's just a selector. Ah. Like, uh, by the way, this thing doesn't have undo. <laughs> so, you know, save. Save it often. Uh. Okay, this is just weird. Oh, no, that's the this one. is the one. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. This this is the most horrible GUI I have ever created. Now, this is a, this is, you should sell this as an NFT. We should, we should do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, Rich. Yeah, okay. And just put it into separate panels. That's just how we... Oh, with the blur there? Let's just... Uh, and... Uh, the blur is... Uh, yeah, I want, I, I want... Right now, I have decided and that I want it to look horrible. And I think I'm getting close to that. I mean, you're doing a great <laughs> job. <laughs> okay, never mind. This is this is fine. And duplicates, and we have a GUI. We do. Well, now I should click Show All Targets. Now this is really important because it will show you if there are any controls missing and if there is something something weird. And right now there is. Nothing weird, apparently. It's just that uh, sample shift is there twice, which is like exclamation mark. Something is weird, but it's because of yeah, because of this shift, because the text is also attached to the sample shift. So can you Basically, just I, unattach it then? Uh, I cannot. To? Uh, I never did this, and it doesn't matter. It's just you know. I know that it's okay, and usually, usually it's okay. But for example, if I put this something wrong, I should try this. See, it shows me. Yeah, okay. Watch this. Something is weird. 
And so you just need to be careful with this. Right, that's kind of like the deep. It's like a checker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it will just check that you didn't do something really, really weird. Um, Obviously safe again. And now the beautiful part where we export and load. And let's hope. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So is it exported? (laughs) Is it exported as a a VST? Like how does Uh, a DLL? it's It's not a DLL. It's not a separate like plugin or anything. That's the whole idea. It's instrument inside M Sound Factory. So right now I have added another instrument. And if you uh, you you cannot really export it as a, a separate plugin. And it doesn't really make sense that would get us to square one where you have to switch between between instruments. But the, the but, so if you have M do you have a free version of M Sound Factory, right? Yep. Will it play it, inside of that? Yep. It should unless I did something weird. I didn't so let me just deactivate everything and let's see if it works still in version 16. <laughs> now this is beta test. Yep. yep. Sound Factory demo. It's it's demo for now. But if it would be weird, it would probably show something like eh, trial and then a big red thingy that I should buy this instrument and activate it or something. <laughs> 